for sure. Or maybe they just figured out, like, get a Barrett's actually, put that in the EX lane, put the Edith in the Um Barrett's kind of provides you that front line, maybe a Thams as well, so that they at least have that front line that uh, can allow for the Moscow to just freely hit. Some, uh, some sort of peel. Export can now, we're throwing it back to our castles to start our first game of the day. Thanks for the handsome Lothel, Miracle, and... And now, for all the points, trying to make it through the knockouts, let's see how far Shanyu Gaming can take it against the defending world champions. Again, one of the main properties of this draft that Falcons AP Brand have brought in is just how deep they can go, how hard they can bring the CC over to XYG. How can this rather soft lineup go against that, Gideon? I I'm worried. I'm worried about Lung. I mean, I'm worried about Lung as well, but luckily he's taken the Purify, and in these types of situations, he's just got to live this laning phase against Super Marco, right? I mean, if he can win the lane against Super Marco, that's an even bigger statement, to be honest with you. And again, there's a chip on Falcons AP Brand's shoulders. They lost in the Grand Finals 0-4 and four against Liquid Echo, who's also playing this very same tournament, so they got to show up. They got to show up strong. Ogwin living here in the jungle. Again, this is one of the things that was alluded to, right, in the draft. Like, they can live inside Zed's jungle all, he, all they want. Well, speaking of which, the first invasion coming in here from Kyle. Hopefully he's going to be able to get something off of it, but no, still dead even. XYG going to be in a pretty good position. Oh, the UI for the in-game equipment looks real nice as well. And at least it gives us an idea of what we should be expecting here. At the very least, both sides are going to be able to have Concealed open. And honestly, I think we didn't get to talk too much about Conceal as a, uh, you know, one of those roaming blessings. It's really, really useful. And I think even more so in this meta now compared to previously. Yep. Uh, currently, there are two very set heavy roamers that need to get in there via the Conceal. And that's going to be important for God Yang and Ogwin to get in there. Something to note as well, uh, emblems. Mm -hmm. None of the new ones have come through, right? We're about five seconds away from the first turtle. Not a single temporal rain nor war cry. So we're playing it close to the chest, seeing how these teams use what they know so far. That's we've, the, the meta we've been playing for the better part of the year. Kyle Tizzi, first stop to the scene. Mm -hmm. Yep. And surprisingly enough, right, you would expect the Julian to be able to actually want to play either Lethal Ignition, maybe if they really wanted to, Warcry as well, but Kyle opting to go for the Impure Rage. Now, God Yang, he's got to be really careful. He doesn't have a lot of escape mechanics, and it's better for him to actually hold on to that flicker rather than, well, using it defensively. Calling Falcons AP Brand from uh, their local homegrown league, I can tell you now that they're having an easy time, Gideon. Th mm -hmm. This is... Very rarely does Falcons AP Brand get a clean go at a turtle. I'm not so sure if XYG is actually just opening up the map, making sure that Long gets his farm, but so far, Ogwin barely needs to protect the buffs. Yeah, I mean, he's literally a walking sentry guard, right? XYG are very careful around him, and I think worse yet, these team fights are going to be really difficult for XYG, so they really have to take their time, right? Wait for Falcons to make that move, make that first blow, and then look for the counter right hand. So far, we're looking at about 500, 600 between these Ooh. two teams. Team fight waiting to break out in the river. Godiak has been doing well. Again, he, he's checking on Kyle TZ, checking on Ogwin, but not exactly overextending. Are we waiting for him to make the first move, or is it going to be a uh, counter initiation from XYG or Falcons AP Brand finding them when the time is right? Because, again, you're looking at Kyle TZ also Ooh. playing. Oh, coming in, implosion! It's a good implosion. God Yang unable to get him out of there. That's going to be E1 dying over to Julia. Well done to Kyle TZ. Great initiation. Say his name and he appears. You wonder when the fight's going to break out. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Julian now down bottom. Mm -hmm. I mean, KLVJ should be okay for now. He still has his battle spell, but this could be a setup to dive, right? Now look at the pressure that at Falcon's AP brand are pushing in towards Nolan's purple buff. Oh, no. It, it's all looking good. Let's cut back over to that purple buff. 3v3. Chains have already been used. Kyle, he's taking his time with this. First really? blood. More than enough to actually bring in the aggression up top. Oh, wait, the TP into the lane. Lung, does he know? Fuse already here. Bam. Finds the yin yang reaction. That's another kill. And that goes over to Super Marco. And the rest of AP Bren, they just pull away while this cross map play happens. I understand what happened to the international marksman. You can see in his face how he did not see that coming. No need to protect your girlfriends. He is out and about, but he's not going to be able to get any kills or any farm with the way Falcons AP Bren has been playing. You know what I saw there, Gideon? That was sensory overload. Mm. They were fighting in the purple, and little did they know, a second later, oh, we're going to get the Moskov. Yeah, I mean, these feints are dangerous, especially against the low E, but Kyle TZ once again securing the second turtle of the game. Very low kill count here. 
here, but you can just see that they are slowly finding these small bits of gold, a couple of camps here and there to put XYG behind. Clearly what I'm seeing happening is Falcons AP Brent setting the pace. This is their game. They're currently about 2,000 ahead now, five minutes in. And I'm thinking maybe what XYG can do is treat Kel VJ like a threat magnet. Like they tried to get him, right? Falcons AP Brent tried to get him. They have about two life bars at this point. I don't think he has any mortality just yet. And that should be the way to open up the rest of the map. Because again, they're all long. Yep, they're gonna try. They're trying to defend this dive against Long. They already called down the Eternal Guard and Oben. He's in a lot of trouble here. Enhanced Sword gets him out of there, but Super Marco finds two easily with the Lycan Pounce, and they also take the Tier 1 on top side. A perfect dive coming in from Falcons AP Bren. A good response from XYG, but they just do not have the stats to make this work. And even Long getting pushed back to the Tier 2. That's a three for none. Everything for the Falcons. Nothing much that the little monsters can do. I mean, I, Kyle, he's really feeling himself here. He's looking to get an early Holy Crystal. Oh, once again, when the wave crashes, a kill ensues. Long dies over to the Yin Yang reaction, and Purple Buff still secure by Zed. But at this point of time, Shan Yu Yamen, they are, they are slowing down. Falcon TV Brand, they're picking up the pace. And now, again, the aforementioned solution for Kel VJ to just hunker down. He's doing that and more. He's also clearing waves in mid because, again, it's hard for Yone to even try and hold it down because, again, the dive comp that Falcons even Brand have drafted here it's just too much now look Ogle's gonna try to push Kale in mm -hmm. you have Kale VJ he's got to give this up right there's no point trying to build up that heat on three different people and a fourth coming in for the interception it's better to just give it up for now this mid game's not going well but here comes the diversion into the mid lane just to get wow the tempo I think that's what Falcon and AP Brand are trying to do Zed gets pushed out not getting anywhere close to this next third turtle of the game so buffs forget about it mm -hmm. turtles Forget about it. Xianyu Gaming, now seven minutes down the wire, looking at the third turtle taken away, has to live in the late game. Like, that's the only option left. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be rough, and I think the Dementia is going to start kicking in pretty early on. Look at Super Marco. Currently, 4 and 0. Oh. There's a reason why they call him Bulletproof, now in mid. All right, once again. Oh, the penalty zone off the three into the back line. Instantaneously, Flap TZ sets it up for Super Marco once again. Who else? Can they hit another enhanced chains? Maybe into another penalty zone? Everybody can set up for their boy Super Marco. The Filipino cannon is blowing up right now. 001 does not tell the whole story. He had to push Kel VJ out of that lane down bottom and tell Shan Yu Gaming it's not free. You try to split the map up, it's not gonna be for free. And now Shan Yu's trapped in their own side of the map. I'm not I don't even call it their own side of the map. I think mm -hmm. they're renting from Falcons AB Brand at this point. They really are, and I think that. At this point, XYG, they need to start counting their odds. They've got to roll the dice a little bit against Falcons AP Brand because if this keeps on going, that's going to be a 10k gold lead sooner rather than later. Tomato fried egg seems to be on the menu for the Falcons, and this time around, look at this. They're trapped in their own little corner for the orange. Good news is Zed got it. Mm -hmm. Bad news is it looks like Falcons is setting up for another big Two for none, three for none, and then set up for the 30 seconds. Oh, here comes the implosion! Great implosion. Oh, straight away they peel him up and they find Ogwin. But now, at least with the peel, all of the help of KLVJ, they're able to get back on out of there. And this is what we were looking for from XYG, the counter right hand against Falcons AP Brent with big ultimates. The first Wait. costly trade for Falcons now. Zed going Wait. hunting! Yeah, he finds it, but can he finish that kill? Super Marco manages to get out, Zed. He didn't want to commit 100%. All right, close call. Uh, but again, XYG is not in any shape or form to try and overextend. Mm -hmm. A win is a win, but you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Lord has spawned now in the upper quarter of the map. Bottom side, still relatively clean. At equilibrium, again, that's the best that XYG can ask for right now. Marco on top of the kill charts, and now we might start what they would call a dance here, but I don't know, the, the metagame has changed enough that nobody can dance anymore. And, and honestly, I think they don't exactly have the most amount of sustainability. Even like for Flap TZ, despite already completing that War Axe, probably can't hold on to this Lord for very long. Yeah. You can see Kyle, he's getting chunked out. Yeah, BOS can't help you time travel, man. This ain't 2021, folks. The dance ain't here. Here comes the Conceal. Kill VJ first up. Ogwin looking for one. Kyle TZ secures oh, the Retri. No. 
They'll take anything at this point. They got the Faraga armor, which is pretty good, but I think Falcon's AP brand, they're fishing right now. They're fishing for XYG, looking for any sort of advantage, but on the opposite side of the map, we oh. are seeing that Lung will be able to crash down onto a tier one. He's working, he's working. Again, he has a dream. Let's get out of the 10 minute mark and see where we end up from there. Lord marching up top, enhanced wave in tow. Oh, that's Zed caught out in the middle. He's gotta go home, gotta recall. And now the defense. Oh, look at this. I think all waves are gonna crash in at the same time. Yep, they've synced it up really well. Just get rid of the mid one first, right? Get rid of that tier two, and then we start focusing on everything else. Tier twos are all gonna start crashing down. I think it's, I feel like Falcon and AP Brent, they might be able to try and contest for one of these inhibitors, but as we saw previously, those alts, they're dangerous. Here we Ooh, go. The yin -yang reaction off the long, he's already chunked out. Firaga armor also gone as well, but with the eternal guard, they buy enough space to crack this open. Inhibitor, 50% HP, still alive. Next is the mid wave. Finally, they have to do the sync with top and bottom. Holy shields already taken down. Top and mid, bottom left for Zed to go in. No, penalty zone. He finds two. Long is trying to peel them away, knocks them back, and God Yang takes the damage. He doesn't mind. He has the Radiant Armor, but Falcon's AP Bren smile as they walk away. A missing inhibitor on first Lord. You couldn't ask for more. Laptizi is locks maxing. He mewed right into three, catches two with a DPZ, and I'm talking about that deadly penalty zone. And it was more deadly for turrets than it was for heroes. Again, Shinyu Gaming not out of it quite yet, but they're still crawling, man. Mm -hmm. 10K between these two teams right now. Yep, 10K and even more so, they are... Oh, they're, they're committing war crimes in their jungle, leaving just the small camps, not giving him a full buff as well. They're starving him. Yeah. It's tough. As a Nolan, you guys know this. We are currently in the age of the Trinity jungler. Sustain, mm -hmm. utility, mm -hmm. and damage, as said by our panel. But again, when you're in this kind of situation and you're looking at a roster, a lineup that's as fed as Falcons AP Bren, then it's going to be tough. Man, look, let's talk about this. An early... Queen's wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As an EXP later, I'm looking, I'm looking at my boy here, and I'm like, you greedy, you greedy Terizla player. Pretty Sigma, that's pretty Sigma it's right there. It's very Sigma, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if he goes for the brute, brute force breastplate, hey, you know that Falcons AP brand are confident to take this away. I mean, considering the engagements, right? It's giving hard dive. And now we're looking for another diversion. It's been quite a while. I'd say five or six minutes since we last saw a huge rotation that led to a big take for Falcons AP Bren. But this does mean XYG gets a little bit of time to breathe. But I don't know if that's enough time. No. I, it, I'd say they maybe need five minutes, Min. I think so. Well, even, even with the five minutes, I don't think they'll be able to catch up unless they get like a full team wipe against Falcons AP Bren. And I think that's the scariest part for XYG, right? A single bad fight for them, that's game over. And here's what's different. Having seen, oh, here we go, throwing out the SOD, you going home, right? not okay. going to force it. All right, watching XYG's qualifiers, watching, oh, oh my no! god, what a diversion, they didn't even see it coming, it's too late, the eternal guard comes down, but nothing to guard, their marksman is already down, god damn, is forced to flicker away, oh, oh. and my super Marco, come on man, know your limits, stay back, keep him on the leash, if you let me finish my sentence, but yes, great take Ooh. by Falcons AP brand, shocking even us in the studio, XYG's minimum or um, average game time is 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. How do you even expect to go longer? Yup, and that's gonna be KLVJ losing all the penalties on a follow it up. They don't want them to go back into the fountain. They're gonna start farming them under it as they close out this game. GG well played. That's one point for Falcons AP Bren. They draw first blood in this two week long competition in a best of two against XYG. What an amazing showing by our defending world champions.